Hello guys, in this video I will be explaining how to run a MapReduce program in HDFS. This is your Cloudera platform. So you can see in the desktop Eclipse, double click this, I already open in my case. So you can see it will be opening. My Eclipse platform is ready, go to File, New, Project, Java Project. Then you can give a file name word count. Make sure that you have the proper uh, file name. Okay, next. Don't click finish. Don't click finish. Click next. Then after that, go to libraries. We need to import the libraries. Add external jars. We have to add a few jar files. Click external jar. Then go to file system user. Then you go to LIB. Once you go to LIB, look for the Hadoop. Yeah, okay. So select from here all the jar file until the last. Then add. So it's added. Okay, click again. We have to add some more external jar. Click again. Click client this time. So all the jar file, control A. Then click OK. All the jar files are added. Wait for a few seconds. So once it's added, you can click finish. So your your file is here. Your file now you have to create a class. Go to SRC, right click, file, class, in the file name, word count. Then click finish. Don't disturb any of it. You can leave it to default setting. Click finish. Yes, you are at um, is ready to enter the Java program for word count. So what I'll advise you, you can I already open the word count program from Hadoop. So you can see in this link. Can, can check here and you can find the source code you go to this link you can find the exact source code for the map reduce in a client select the client so copy this entire file put your clips control v then control s save the file our file is ready just check whether any error the in a live session I will be explaining the program. Once you import it, check any mistakes in the in the code or something mistakenly you left, something you didn't copy, check that one. Now we have to export the jar file, word count, right click, export Java jar file, next. We have to browse the location, should be inside the cloud era. Okay, and you assign the word. Okay, cloud data. Assign the word count here. Word, word count file name to export the jar file. Then click OK. Then finish. Okay. Now the file is exported, so let's go and check in the, in the file system whether it's exported successfully or not. You can, you can click computer and file system, then you can click home, cloud era, just to cross check the file is here, then you can close, close all these things, then you can click here for the terminal. This will help you to open the terminal double click so this is the place you can type all your uh, comments so you can see the word count file is here and you check the working directory because your working directory is here in a home directory so next we have to create a file that we want to process what kind of file you want to process you have to create one file to okay 
uh, if you know Linux command, you know how to create a file. So you have to type care space. Make sure that you have uh, followed the proper format. HSQ process file one dot txt. Then you type some Control Z just to, just to check the file is created successfully. Check cat space for cloud data process file. It's case sensitive, so we have to give proper file name. Yes, the file is here. Now we have to move this to HDFS. So I do, I do follow the HDFS file system. We have to move this to HDFS. Just to check whether it's working or not. So HDFS, DFS last. We have to add space. Okay, don't give you any output. So you will see all the folder that created inside the HDFS file system. For me, the RAM is a bit less, so it takes longer time. So next, we can create a folder HDFS DFS directory is folder one. So I already created input folder, so I give now as an input folder one. Yes, successfully created. Now we have to move the file, the process file .txt into Hadoop file system. So HDFS, DFS, use the word put space from cloud data process. Make sure that you remember the file name, otherwise it will be a problem. One.txt space input. Just to check the file move successfully or not, and just check whether all the contents are inside. Can okay. we have inside the input folder? file mode to Hadoop file system successfully we can able to read the file also now we have to run the Hadoop the program that we written we have to run the file in Hadoop this is the important syntax now run the Hadoop syntax Hadoop char slash home slash cloud data slash count so you can give us a output file to store so output one so this folder is to store your file when when the process after its process we have to store our file so we one output one 
So click enter. Now it will start to process my produce. It started. Resource manager. So number of splits one it depends on the your hardware specification. You can see the processing will be faster or maybe slow. You can see map reduce zero percentage, reduce zero percentage, map zero percentage, reduce zero percentage, so map hundred percentage, reduce also hundred percentage. So you can see how much seconds it took, how many counter. You can see quite number of information here. So the number of bytes is process, return, map task, reduce task, map input record, how much record is goes. You can check later output record, bytes, quite number of information. You can see physical memory. So now you can you can see where the file is saved. It's DFS DFS. What's our uh, output folder name? Out. So this is our output folder name. So all the process file will be stored in this. So you can see the log file shows success, and this is our file. Our process files are stored here. Uh, the, the initial file process file 1.txt we send inside the Hadoop file system, HDFS file system. It's processed and give the output in, in this part. R.000000. Okay, now you have to call this file HDFS. DFS. Big three, cloud data four, data three, the yes file. So you can cross check with the original file that we initially assigned home dot cloud data process file. This is the initial file. You can see here yes, two, three, four, five, I'm one, two, three, four, five, cloud data. Thank you.